In this video, it's ambition over, frankly, anything else at all. Will my fire-damaged Altsit show any signs of life in the slightest? We know the engine won't turn, so I'm not going to try that. But it's trying to see if the electrical system will fire into life at all. I'm going to connect my new little jump pack up and uh, we'll see whether anything happens at all in the way of electrics. Turn that on. I shall jump into the car and uh, we'll see if anything happens. Uh, in the hazard lights, nothing. Oh, yeah, we got some light action going on. Okay. I don't seem to have any ignition, so something's wrong somewhere, I think. So we've got one headlight. Oh, oh, that's fog light. Okay. There's main beam. And uh, I suppose there's one big test to do here. I should just move this metal plate and uh, maybe we'll close the bonnet temporarily. Will the wiper work? Because if it doesn't, I'm scrapping the entire car. Ah, hold on, jump pack is in the way. Can I connect this up in a way that is not so high profile? Right, here we go. This is exciting news. Oh no, it can't get in. There we go. Will we get a wiper? No. No washers either. Have we got. Oh no, we're dead on electrics, that's why. I don't think it likes my battery pack being connected that way. Uh. Uh, yes, yeah, so I think I need you to hold the bonnet. And we'll see if we can get the wiper to play. Oh, I've done it again. There we go. All right, lights again. Yep. Ah, uh, no wiper action. What about rear wiper? No. No, we, we have some problems with the wiring, but we've had some signs of light, life at least. It just makes the car feel slightly more alive. Felt quite poignant. It did. Definitely that light. Less. Oh, the She's bonnet really, really is falling off this car. But, uh, there we go. What the future is for this car is still unknown at this stage. Um, I need to start stripping the engine bay around. I will be wearing gloves once we start poking around where the fire was because um, there might still be some nasty chemicals lingering. But yeah, ultimately the old city is still fairly dead, but we have had some signs of life and that makes me feel a little more positive. Especially as we did actually try some work on the Yugo, the Yugo Sana that is sitting here uh, today. Uh, we haven't had much luck at all trying to get the electrical system to wake up on this. Uh, slightly disappointing, but not entirely unexpected at the same time. But both of these projects, hopefully there will be progress over the winter. So we'll see where we end up. Thanks for watching, just a short one this time. Look forward to seeing you in a future video. Farewell. Well, hello and welcome to Hubnut and uh, a video that's really gone to plan today. Um, we were going to try and get the Yugo running. That, that didn't quite work, did it? Not quite. There was progress, not enough progress, so that'll have to wait for another day. Um, so then we thought we'd re record a mailbag and uh, that was good fun. I really enjoyed that. It was hilarious. Yeah, unfortunately I forgot to turn the microphones on. So uh, it, it was slightly lacking in that regard. So we're going to go again. Uh, I've got a very poor short term memory. So uh, my, hey, hopefully that will help my reactions be genuine. And I've repackaged everything. So it should be a surprise. Hopefully in the right place. Uh, I, I cannot remember what's in this one, for instance. 
Oh, I remember what's in this one. Uh, I'm going to hold it in my hand and I'll show you in a moment. Because there is a letter and it uh, found your YouTube channel and it's kept me saying and going through the lockdown. Great content, love it. Had this little fella for a number of years, never sure what to do with it. Hubnut, problem solved. From the ridges on the bonnet, perhaps you can enlighten as to the vintage. And uh, yeah, that might be pushing it a bit. Uh, he also tells me to get an Alfa Romeo 156. That's Mark Lawton, thank you very much. And uh, where, where's our done pile? Or should you I just provide? <laughs> I, I know, I'm just trying to be organized here. It's, uh, it's a strange concept for me, but this is what I need to show you is this tiny little 2CV van made out of um, some sort of food can. It's a, an extraordinary model. Uh, I've got a larger one, they're quite common, made out of, um, uh, sort of soft drink beverage cans. Uh, drink beverage, whatever. Um, but yeah, I've never seen one like that. That is tiny. It's a, a lot of skill there. So we like that very much. Thank you, Mark. That will go in my display cabinet at some point once I... Have one? Have one, <laughs> yes. Uh, these are some books from Carl Lawrence. Um, he's having a clear out. Uh, that's the first one, just got a letter in, it has. Uh, always been an interesting car since my childhood. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yep, yep, I know that feeling very well. Started watching your videos when you rescued the Inver car. She's just in front of the Matiz here. Uh, been sorting out my room and found free books that you and the family will hopefully find interesting. And I won't tell you what they are, because I'm going to show you what they are. The first one is the Encyclopedia of Classic Cars. Whoa, the wind's just got up a bit there. Uh, Sports cars, 1945 to 1975. So that really is the classic era. And uh, yeah, we've got some beauties. Yeah, these are Delahays, uh, top quality French cars. Look at those. Some of the finest automobiles that ever existed, the old Delahays. Let's find another page to just randomly show you. Uh, not that one, that's boring. Yeah, there we go, Jowett Jupiter. Now, amusingly, there's someone in this area who loves Jowett's. Uh, there are several around here awaiting restoration. Uh, I, I really need to do a video. Um, Jowett Javelin is my favorite. It's the four-door saloon, a lovely car. So that's book one, thank you, Carl. Book two, built for speed cars. Uh, this is uh, an amusing book because it's quite cartoony in terms of the pictures. Ah, but they're for the family, remember? Oh yeah, it's a family book, so uh, there we go. Uh, very much of its time, was it 1998 for this book? Uh, it was. Text copyright Ian Graham. Uh, some very good drawings, but uh, yeah, it's, it's all a bit um, cartoony. Fast facts, motor racing rules, make sure the racing cars are not too light and that their engines are not too big. Slightly simple in the old language, but uh, yeah. Uh, I think it's aimed at you, Dad. No, no, an interesting insight into its time. But even when I was 10, I would have found that a bit beneath me. I was reading reference books at 10. I was a very strange child. You were a strange child? Yeah, can you believe it? Oh, no. Very strange. And the other one is um, the book of Hubnut's favourite cars, or the worst cars ever sold in Britain. Uh, this is by Giles Chapman. It's been repackaged a number of times. I own two slightly different versions of this book. And uh, basically, he's really rude about the cars I love most. No idea what a Hillman Imp is on there. That was one of the better cars, surely. Um, we've also got a Blue Robin, very much like the one Aging Wheels over in Missouri. There's Bork, go and check out his videos on those. Uh, his introduction video was very good. Uh, bon mini car there, say at Marbella. My dad hired one when we went to Mallorca many, many years ago. It was a Hyundai Pony as well. So it's all cars I really love. And so, it, it, yeah, it's all quite rude um, about lovely cars like the Hyundai Pony. Nothing wrong with a Hyundai Pony. They're, you know, a little cheap, but look at the state of Hyundai and Kia these days. Who's laughing at the Koreans now? Nobody. So, yeah, it's not a book I agree with. I have several versions of it, but, um, yeah, it's um, an interesting one. Anyway, what are we on to here? Oh, this is the one from uh, TW13, which I don't know where it is. It is a blank 
Rover 75 key. Um, sadly, I guess someone sent that before I sorted the key out on mine, and I do have a dead spare. It's got a transponder in there as well, but uh, two transponders it seems, but they're not going to be matched to the car, so um, it, it's good to have another blank because it's a proper Rover blank. Uh, is it? No, I haven't quite got the logo on it, but uh, yeah, a useful spare, so thank you very much for that. Thank you, yeah. assistant. In here we have, Rover related again, everyone loves Rita, uh, a hard copy Haynes manual. Um, very good to have. If you look on the back, they're doing a photo um, where they're showing where the water leaks into the boot, straight through the rear lights. It's a lovely part of the design. Uh, so it's good to have a nice copy, hard copy. Uh, the, the paperback one I've got has gone all rounded. Uh, so that's my workshop copy, but yeah, I can read this one. Um, in my own time and before I start work and try not to get that one absolutely ruined with filth. So thank you very much, whoever sent that. Just invest on that one. Yes, Quedgley in Gloucestershire that has come from. So thank you very much, whoever that was in Quedgley. Uh, oh yes. Poundland <laughs> socks. Uh, so they, there's the proof, look, Poundland socks. Um, some, someone obviously thinks I'm a bit Poundland. Does Poundland even exist anymore? I think it does. I think Poundland died, I think it was Pound World. Mm. There the, were competing Pound stores and one of them died a death. But I think Poundland's still going. Yeah, but there's yeah. one in our Bristol that isn't there anymore. Yes, I think, but I think Poundland is. Because then that could be a collector's item. Oh, it could be, I will keep those, put those safe. For posterity. But yeah, sadly, I don't think they're going to rank well on my sock tier system. This is very true. Yeah. I'm going to move my chest slightly. I, I like my sock tier system. I thought everyone had sock tiers. But no, no, just rate different socks. I'm wearing tier threes today. These are JCB socks. Uh, very nice and thick and very warm. I like them a lot. And uh, yeah. I almost recovered from the trauma of not having any the other day. Yes, they, they had sold out and I had to buy some slightly inferior socks. Well, you know, they're tier two. Tier two's okay. Uh, it's the threes and fours that are the real problem. I should just throw out the tier fours. It was a tier four I found in the back of Fox Anne the other day. I'm not sure how it got there. Um, we've got onto postcards from Martin over in Germany. Uh, first one is a Zeppelin frame uh, because he lives in the area where they were made and uh, became the ZF works. I hadn't realised. Uh, ZF effectively came from Zeppelins. And then this one's absolutely beautiful. I think this must be the Citroen factory in um, Paris back in the day. Look at it, motion blur there as a DS departs. Load of H vans up the back here. That's a wonderful image of just simply another time. Gorgeous, I could just stare at that all day, but oh, you- you Life goals. Could be life goals, yeah. That many DSs, oh. Be a lot of LHM. Uh, it's a nice card. Oh yes, uh, actual money has been sent. Swiss francs. Uh, now there's a slight problem with Swiss francs. Uh, we're not in Switzerland, but I guess that's easily remedied. We'll just have to go to Switzerland. That's unfortunate. Yeah. So thank you very much. Uh, this owner doesn't want his name reading out, but uh, yeah, he he shares my fascination with the Triangle of Doom, and uh, yeah, that's a very kind. Um, donation there so look forward to spending that at some point uh yeah keep... we've escaped our second lockdown yeah we, we are in the second lockdown of wales at the moment so um hopefully in 2021 uh, i'm trying to think when the world meeting of um to see friends is i think it's next year in switzerland so that might be coming oh, very see. useful i'm gonna take ellie on a second trip to switzerland she has been before last year we circumvented switzerland on our way to croatia I think, I don't think we went through Switzerland. Can't remember, a long time ago. Feels like a long time ago. Uh, this is, oh yes, who sent this? Okay, I'll give you that. I'll keep the letter. Okay. Hi Ian, love the channel, keep up the great work. Oh yes, he didn't admit who he was. Did you say on the back? No. Come from Plymouth though. Oh, I thought it did say somewhere. But yeah, someone's made a key ring. Of Ellie. It, it, it's one of my images of me hurtling around the bend in Ellie back in the um, late 2000s, I think that shot was. Uh, yeah, love that photo. I think we should do some uh, 
of this pile before we continue with this pile. Oh no, let's get this one done. No, we'll I think we should leave that for the end. Oh, okay. Right, there we go. Um, I have to say, we've had a quick browse through this pile of stuff, all of which seems to have come through Wish in China. Um, if you have young family around, you may wish them to um, look around, but we're not going to um, oh, go into too much detail, but um, <laughs> it could be interesting. Oh, yes. This box, Love Needs a Little Spice. Um, straight away gets you slightly concerned. Uh, it's all in Chinese. There's a lovely holographic image on the back, um, just just of the barcode, it would seem. Oh good, not of the contents. Yeah, Mrs. Z. But yeah, the contents are um, circular in nature. And uh, no, I'm not going to tell you where they go. We'll leave that to your imagination. Uh, what have we got in this one? There's all sorts of strange potions this time. Uh, this is simply refurbish agent. But it doesn't say what for. It just says shake well and spray on the surface. Wipe evenly. No further explanation. So I don't know what you meant to refurbish with that. Maybe it refurbishes everything. Hopefully not related to the previous. Yeah. Oh, this is a Jesus is my saviour wristband. <laughs> I don't know why that's been sent to me. Oh. This one's quite fluffy. I'm not sure I want to reveal an awful lot more of that one. But Miss Hubnut finds it hilarious. Yeah, it's got a company in ears. It's got a, a what? A company in ears. Oh yes, they're probably a bit safer to get out. <laughs> get out. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Suit? Looks fabulous. Yes, so that there are accompanying ears for the item in this package. I'll just give you that to play with. <laughs> ah, this one is um, body compound. It's um, uh, it's not for rubbing on your body. It's for scratch removal. But as we've already discussed on the GSA, the scratches on that car are way beyond mere potions. Oh, this is um, a lump of clay, uh, a clay bar that wasn't very well packaged, but um, clay bar, useful stuff. I want to buff up Myrtle number two. Uh, or already done her headlamps, which you should have seen in a previous video. Um, so hopefully that video will be out at some point. I've no idea when this is coming out, but um, that, that will be very useful. So you put that in the more useful pile. You're making her nice so I can drive her. Yeah, we have had a trial fit. We haven't had a trial drive yet, though. We haven't yet, no. Oh, this, <laughs> it's a blue ring. We, we know not what this blue ring might be for. It's a lovely color. Almost matches, oh, pardon me, almost matches Foxanne. No idea where this stuff is coming from. Are you ordering it or is Wish just sending stuff on the off chance? Blue ring, um, no comment. Car headlamp repair fluid. Uh, a bit late. Um, don't know if it works, but the Rita the Rover could do with a bus. So I've done Myrtle's headlamps already, but um, that could be useful potentially. What have we got in here? Oh, two packages. Uh, this one contains this sticker, which will be well known to some viewers and not so much to others. I do not recommend you Google that term. It was sold on eBay recently. It was. Mm. Ooh. Uh yes, so... Um, Many air fresheners needed, I feel. I, I feel that, yes, definitely. Uh, this is another sticker. Old rovers never die, they just get faster. You won't be able to see that really, because it's white on white. Um, Rita is a bit quicker. She just thinks about a tinker. So maybe that sticker will go on, I don't know. Oh, this is a USB light. But, I mean, what, what were you going to look for? It's really short. So by the time you plugged it into your computer, you're not going to see very far. I don't, I'm not entirely sure what the point of that is. I mean, what, what is the point of Wish, really? I, I don't oh, quite understand. It's not all bad. Oh, this is a um, fake car alarm that's solar-powered. Uh, so you turn it on, 
and I can't remember which end flashes, but um, it does flash a bit. If it gets some sunshine. If it gets some sunshine. But yeah, maybe I'll fit that to my car so uh, I can pretend I've got an alarm fitted. Quite like peculiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rural Wales. Oh, this is the thing we're not entirely sure. I'm thinking it's a snood. You think it's a snood? Yeah. What was your other suggestion? Uh, a dog cosy of some sort. All right, I'm going for it. Oh, jeepers, it smells horrible. <laughs> it, it goes with a top. It does, you look pretty cool. Is it better than a mask? I'm not sure it is. It hasn't got quite as many layers as a mask. <laughs> <coughs> Gee, but it smells disgusting. Uh, but thank you. Someone asked whether we could get some Hubnut snoods made up. But if we do, we must make sure they don't smell like that. Uh, what have we got in this one? There's another mysterious potion. Oh yes, the patchouli oil. I'm not sure what we're meant to do with that. It's an essential oil. Essential. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I've been coping without it, well, but yeah. if you sent me patchouli oil, thank you. Uh, oh yes, this is the sticker that's quite rude. Four doors <laughs> for more fun. Possibly. I don't think that's going to be going on any of my cars. <laughs> well, maybe if I buy a four door Nissan Skyline, then I can do it. Oh yes, this is a, a light that you, again, you plug into your computer and it lights up pink and purple. Ooh. Okay, you can have that. Thank you. You can go with my purple laptop. And finally, in the wish pile, we have a mask. Now, would this improve my videos if I wore a mask like this? No? So thank you whoever has sent that. We do actually have Hubnut masks. I will try and remember to put the link below. They're not available through the normal store, um, but you can buy Hubnut masks. We got Hubnut ones and Took ones. And the final few items of uh, mailbag. Uh, <laughs> I just remembered this one as well. Oh yes, there's a selection of stickers. Uh, but they seem to have death trap. Oh yes, Def Chap is um, a company that does stickers. Raising standards, lowering tones. So this looks way cooler on Instagram. Um, I'm not on Instagram anymore, so that's ruined that one. That I'm not showing that one. No, I can't Could do that. Could you show it, a bit of it? Like, I don't know, no. No. Any which way that's identifiable. No, yeah, we're not showing that one. Um, Chrome don't get you home. Uh, but you'll still look cool on the recovery truck. Uh, memories of breaking down in a Jaguar XK150. Uh, the four hour wait didn't leave me feeling all that pleased to be honest. And uh, Death Trap stickers, so there we go. Death Trap um, VC. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for that sticker collection. Penultimately, we have, oh yes, there's 75 and ztclub.co.uk in sticker form, which you won't really be able to make out there, but that'll definitely go on Rita because that club has been invaluable um, in helping me with some of the issues. Um, just through their forum, you can go to their forum at the aforementioned website. Uh, very, very useful. Some of the stuff's behind their paywall, or at least you've got to sign up for it. Um, but quite a lot of information is freely available, lots of knowledge. That's the good thing about buying a car that so many people are enthusiastic about, whereas Altsits and Yugo Sanas are a little more difficult, although actually quite a few Altsit owners have been in touch. So I'm hopeful all will be well there. And this is a package from France. Uh, it's the Rover 75 Tourer, or the Rover... Soissons Cans. Soissons Cans. Uh, parfait. Uh, so très, très belle. Uh, Butte exterior. See, I'm good at the French. I'm not quite as good at French as you, though. In voiture comfortable et rassurant. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, essence au diesel et la puissance en réserve. Is that power in reserve? Yes. Oh. Quite good. 
given, given the um, diesels don't have much power, that's taking the um, mickey a bit, I think. Some very beautiful um, uh, photography in here. I don't know why they chose a silver one, though. I don't think silver's the best colour for a Rover 75 or a Swasson Cairns. Uh, where do we use? Uh, chassis équipe de suspension de type McPherson. Allergy particulièrement aboutis à l'avant et le tréchant du système révolutionnaire Z-Ax à l'arrière. So that's a Z-Axle at the rear. Is that good French? I was, oh, I was there. I was there. Excellent. Maybe I should get you to read a bit. Uh, how about this first paragraph in your lovely French? L'une des plus belles voitures au monde est un break. Avec le Rover 75 Tourer, découvrez une nouvelle dimension automobile allant élégance, performance et polyvalence. Oh, there you go. So that's the um, Rover 75. Merci beaucoup, c'est très gentil. Yeah, merci indeed. Yeah. Voilà. So, and that is the end. Oh, sorry, that's from Rabbi Frederic, we think. Uh, it's a little blurry, but yeah, thank you. Another interesting <laughs> selection on the mailbag here on Hubner. Uh, so uh, yeah, th thank you for those. Really not sure what's going on with all the Wish stuff. That's just turning weird. But um, yeah, always appreciate hilarious. your contributions. <laughs> you, you, you love it, don't you? I just think it's hilarious. Yeah, it, it, it's certainly amusing. So thank you very much. And we look forward to seeing you in a future video. Farewell. Pshh.